Hello, Bernie, Bernadette from Bernie's Creations. Thank you for joining me. Uh, today I'm, I'm setting myself a little bit of a challenge because I'm actually in a course and I have an assignment that is due that I'm supposed to have painted myself, which I am doing right now. Um, and it's due in like half an hour. <laughs> So I'm, uh, so I'm challenging myself that I can get it done in that half hour. Okay. Uh, well, less, because I'm hoping that, uh, because this is my YouTube, I want to put this up on my YouTube channel and, uh, um, I'm trying to cut myself down on the length of time that it takes me to do my videos. So I'm, so bear with me. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do what is called a, a kiss pour. And with my kiss pour, I am going to be, uh, I'm going to be mixing, um, four colors, five colors actually, four, uh, four colors into one little cup and another four into the other five because the one is going to have black as my medium mid, mid color and the other one's going to have white as my, as the mid color, um, or the balancing color. I'm not sure what it's called, but anyways, I am going to start off with um, I'm having a feeling you can't see what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little bit of a trade. I usually, I usually hook or put cup hooks in the bottom of my, uh, the under part of my, uh, my canvas. Uh, today I didn't. Today I'm just using shot glasses as my, for the underbase. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to start off with pink. Pour a little pink in there and a little, go with the purple. And so this is Tutti Fruity Pink, and this was Majestic Purple, and then I'm going to put black. And then I'm going to put, the, this is Sky Blue. Cover the black, and then I have um, metallic green. And I'm going to top it with the black. All right, and I'm going to set that aside and let me see what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this one with this is metallic blue so I'm going to pour metallic blue in first and then I don't want green because I've already got green so I and I'm not sure what color if orange and blue will change to a different color but I'm going to put the uh, orange and then I'm going to pour in white. And then I will put in, this is espresso, um, espresso brown ok 
cadmium yellow. And I'm going to top it off with the white. All right, now I'm going to set that aside because I want to put this back in the center. All right, now what I'm going to do, this is called a kiss pour. First, I'm going to add a little of the uh, purple. I, I, I pre-painted the, uh, the base, um, my own kind of lavender lilac purple. All right. So now with this being a kiss, what, what it means by kiss is they are barely touching each other and, and one is going faster. Or... Now I kind of look the fa like the face look that's on there, but um, that's not what I'm looking for. So I am and I do like that look, but and I don't really want it to go off quite yet. So I just want to get the four corners first. And then always bring it back to the center. And then back to letting it go off the edges. I really do like the the way that that pink corner looked, but I needed to uh, Okay, what does it look like? Can you see it? I try and remove some of that blue. And let some of the orange kind of move around. Okay, so I'm going to set that down. I really do wish I had put the cup hooks in first. Um, I'm going to change this a little bit because I don't really like how it is pushing the uh, center. I don't like how it is pushing the center of the uh, the painting up. So what I'm going to do is I am going to 
Um, grab some of my popsicle sticks. And I'm going to lay them underneath. Now, I am going to take my straw. Do I want to use my straw or do I want to use another popsicle stick? Let's use another popsicle stick. I'm going to do, this This is kind of what's called wrecking. And that what I'm going to do, first I'm going to torch it. Now, torching, what the torching does is it pops the bubbles that are in the the air bubbles that are in the paint but the heat also draws out because i because my paints are mixed with varnish um and I, i've mixed a little bit of varnish in and then also my my base paints or my paints have a little bit of uh, mod podge in them so with adding heat what the heat does is it encourages bubble, they, not bubbles, it, well, they look like bubbles, it, but it encourages what is called cells or pearls. And now by wrecking, what I mean is I'm going to use my popsicle stick and Actually, I'm going to go with the orange. Oh, I actually pressed down too hard. So I'm going to use a different, I'm going to use a skewer instead. I pressed down too hard with the popsicle stick and made a gouge in my my paint and I didn't want to do that so I'm gonna have to try and see if I can fix it okay all right so again I'm gonna take my my skewer and Try and get my hand so that it's not shaking. <laughs> and I don't want to mix the blue in with the orange, so I'm, I wipe off the skewer. Because though I want the uh, the I want to pull some of the colors into the uh, like the with what I was just doing with the white into the purple and the purple into the white I don't want big blobs of purple in the white or big blobs of white in the purple so.
And also as I'm doing this, I'm also looking for interesting things that I might see, such as here. I, it looks like a, it looks like a, I'll pull you down and show you in a minute. But right now what it does is it looks like a, an open mouth. There's two eyes, two bulgy eyes, and they are the mouth um, is, is kind of in a, I don't know if it's a, it would be a screaming mouth or a, and there's a surprise mouth. And there's another one right over there and where there's the two eyes and there's the, the open mouth. Um, Oh, there's another one. I don't want to take that. I don't want to I don't want to wreck this one because this looks like nostrils and an open mouth right here and something in his mouth. Now, I, I can be very imaginative, so um, but everybody sees something different. And that's one of the reasons why I love doing this kind of work is because um, everybody sees something else. Nobody sees the same thing. Well, some people see the same thing, but in a different way. Okay, let's torch this again and see. I don't know if I need to tilt it again. I don't, I don't want to over tilt it because I don't want, there's stuff in it that I like and I don't want to lose it. Um, which tilting will, tilting, if, if I tilt it, it's going to take the, and change how it looks. And I, there's parts of it that I don't want to change. And I think because of uh, my time parameter, and this is something that I, I've never done before, but I mean, just kind of tapping it and getting a really neat kind of cool Oh, that I dragged. I didn't tap. Okay, so I'm going to pull you. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to pull you down and show you. And then I'm going to take a picture and I'm going to submit it as my assignment for today. Okay, can I flip it around? Oh, wrong one. Okay, um, there we go. Now, as you are looking, point right in the comments below what you see. If you're seeing anything, do you do you see the uh, the the eye? And the kind of quirky lip do you uh, or is it just me um, uh, the the bird beak the uh, 
the open mouth right there. I don't want to go too low because I don't want to, I don't want to end up touching it. Um, this is where I was saying right there is the open surprise mouth. Um, where is the other one? The other one is right there. And what do you see? If you like what you see, leave me a comment. Uh, like, share, um, let me know. Um, and subscribe. All right. Whoops. Thank you for joining me. It was awesome. Bye-bye.